hello everyone hope you guys are doing well so today our uh, lab is about configuring the spanning tree manipulation in aruba cx switches so we'll get started now okay so by default spanning tree is disabled what i'll do i'll uh, on the spanning tree after that i will uh, spanning tree i will create an instance for spanning tree okay so if i want this switch to be the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, root bridge for this uh, uh, for this topology so we can you know the uh, uh, we can configure a specific priority okay for example say if i Uh, create a v uh, uh, spanning tree instance from vlan one. I can set a priority. Okay, so you guys can see specifies the priority for the RP based instance. Priority value configured as a multiple of four zero ninety six. Okay, so what I'll do? I will configure a priority of uh, five over here. now uh, i'll uh, by default vlan one is created but let me check over here it is a default vlan i will now shut it okay and what i'll do i will configure this port as an access port i will get an error okay because routing is enabled we have to disable routing now i will say okay not now i'll configure the other interface so these are the the uplink interface not uplink interface the interface is connected to the another switch so what i'll do uh i can so if uh, like uh, i'll configure this uh, port as a trunk port okay as of now trunk port is not required because we have created only one vlan but we can use the same topology in our and the upcoming videos in future okay similarly for the Save the config. Show span tree. Let's do. Okay, they are admin down. I will uh, manually unshut them. No shut. Similarly for three, and I will save the config. Okay, as you guys can see, all the ports are in the forwarding mode. Okay. Show spanning tree. You can see three two seven six eight. Now I'll show you the configuration. So this is the configuration. We have to, uh, you know, similarly we have to do the configuration on the another switch as well. I'll just copy and paste it over from here. In the case of priority, we will you know set a higher priority over here. Say for example six. I 
and similarly I will configuration I will copy paste the configuration now you guys can see the difference I'll compare the configuration now. Okay, so the priority for this is six, and for here it is five. So the spanning tree instance with the lower priority will make this switch as a root bridge. Okay, you guys can see. what if if I want this switch to become the root bridge okay what I'll do I will uh, create okay now let's check I think there is a different command for that. Spanning tree priority. Okay. I'll uh, set a priority of uh, 8 over here. Not 8, I'll create it as a 4. Now let's check. As you guys can see the priority with lower priority is getting changed okay, uh, I am extremely sorry for my statement so if you lower down the priority okay for spanning tree that switch will make the root bridge show spanning tree you guys can see the priority is 4 We will do some testing. We will make this uh, priority as 5 and see what happens. As this is a lab real time scenario. So, what we guys are proving over here. Okay. So, lower priority is considered in spanning tree. Okay in Aruba CX switches okay you can you guys can you know con uh, compare the configuration the higher priority will not make the switch as a root bridge okay but if you change the priority so it will with uh, you know if, if you lower down the priority it will make the switch to act as a root bridge now again we will do some extra configurations see for this switch the 1 slash 1 slash port is the designated port because it is uh, transmitting the uh, superior BPD which it is receiving from this root bridge but 1 slash 1 slash 2 1 slash 1 slash 3 ok out of that port one port is the you know uh, is it's in uh, forwarding mode and other uh, one is getting blocked uh, is because that is the functionality of the spanning tree what if I want this port to be in forwarding mode and this port to be uh, you know in the blocking mode okay 
so you guys know what is the criteria for a spanning tree I will explain you so first is the root bridge ID okay so the the superior BPDU okay so in switching low lowest is always considered okay the uh, switch with the lower MAC address and lower priority will become the root bridge will so that that uh, bridge ID will be make the switch as a root bridge second one is the cost okay lower cost is all always considered okay and the next one is the designated bridge ID and last one is the designated port ID so this is the criteria root bridge ID cost designated bridge ID designated port ID okay now what I'll do I'll check what is the cost over here okay so cost from one slash one slash two is twenty thousand okay as you guys can see okay which it is receiving from this port what I'll do I'll do some manipulation for the cost I'll uh, reduce the cost on this interface so the port with the lower cost will become the uh, we'll make the port in the forwarding mode okay this port we'll just do it spanning tree even I don't know the exact command cost okay I'll make the cost say for example hundred and let's see what happens I'll shut the interface save the configuration I think we have to make this link as a point to point link spanning tree VLAN 1 ok cost ok this is the exact command now we will see the changes not taking I am so sorry I am so sorry I have to do the configuration changes on this side not on this switch because this is the this is not the this is not the root bridge we have to make changes over here and not over here I'll erase the configuration
बिकॉज यू नो वी कैनोट यू नो सेंड द कॉस्ट ऑन द बी पी डी ओ मैसेज द कॉस्ट इज स्पेसिफिक फॉर दिस कॉस्ट हैज इट्स ओन यू नो सिग्निफिकेंस ऑन द रिसिविंग स्विच we have to do manipulation over here interface when slash when slash 3 spanning tree cost now we will see the changes see with a simple command we have changed the port state from blocking to forwarding see if we see the old output see the port 1 slash 1 slash 2 was in forwarding mode but now 1 slash 1 slash 3 is in forwarding mode so it was a you know very uh, uh, simple command actually i got confused so you guys also you know you have to remember while doing cost manipulation we have to not do any kind of uh, changes on the root bridge we have to do changes on the non root bridge because cost we cannot send the cost in the bpdu information from the root bridge the cost will be considered by the switch which is having uh, you know the is the switch which is the non root bridge you guys can see cost is so lower cost is already uh, always considered so that's all for today's video i hope you guys will have like this video and you guys who you know you can add your add some value i'm i i hope i'm adding some values uh, in your technical career in case of uh, in terms of aruba switching i will uh, in uh, you know i'm planning to upload more videos in aruba switching okay thank you so much